Okay. Playing League here. Against, uh, Yuri Kumoma, I guess. Um. And, yeah, I mean, I'll see how it goes. Um. This is, uh, oh. Yeah. These are all cards. Um, yeah, so I haven't been playing Dominion lately, as has been the usual case these days. Uh, so. I don't know. <laughs> we'll, we'll do our best. Um, let's see, what's here? Uh, this board has collection. It has not the cheapest of actions, but like ports, fine. Uh, deliver means that we're gonna be perfectly consistent pretty late. Um, there's trashing alternatives to student, namely Forge, although student also has the Order of Masons, which is probably pretty helpful, uh, early on. Um, I mean, I think the three is gonna be gear, and then I have to make a decision. Um, the two alternatives really look like student or silver, uh, and I'm kind of favoring student, um, just because, like, we, we can get the Order of Masons so we can keep estates out of the shuffle, uh, a pretty, a pretty long time. Let me move this out of the way. Um, so we can keep, uh, estates out of the shuffle a pretty long time. Um, silver, like, we have forged, so it's not like we're desperate on trashing, but this seems fine. Um, and then we're gonna, yeah, take, take the two estates out. Do I not know how Order of Masons works? No, I think I do. <laughs> ah. I can imagine going either way on it. Um, cabin boy. So we're not gonna rotate. Take a gear. This time we're gonna trash the student and then play gear, which will get us to four. Or we're gonna trash the estate, which will get us to four for a, uh, conjurer. Um. I'm not sure if it's a bit, I guess you could have opened, like, uh, gear, silver, and gotten crop rotation pretty quick. That would have been another way to do it. I suppose. Um. So, like, this is gonna hit four. We're gonna not do the gear. Uh, I don't know. I, I do want to conjure, I'm pretty sure. Uh, it would open it up for you cabin boying it, but then that's gonna prevent you from hitting six, most likely. Um, so. Not a, not a huge deal. Um, I already feel like I messed this one up. I just totally missed the, the gear silver to crop rotation thing, which is just s sad. Um, I guess the other thing we can do is we can trash an estate here, like gear over two coppers and then hit crop rotation that way. That's, that's actually a real possibility. Um, cause like that'll guarantee six. I wonder if, um, like a single copper over will guarantee six. So we're gonna not rotate. Um, order of masons. Like I can take out these two estates, right? And then, uh, Set aside a single copper. Well, I only have three coppers there. Huh. No, it's actually two coppers and a gear even. I've trashed a copper. So if I do like one copper and buy a silver, I'm sure as heck not actually that likely to be hitting crop rotation next turn. Uh, but let's do it this way anyways. Um. The hope is that somehow I get away with having done this really dumb thing. Uh, which was really dumb. 
if you can imagine. Oh, I do get away with doing this really dumb thing. That's amazing. <laughs> Some people just have all the luck, like me. Um, so yeah, now my, now my next buy is a collection, my next important buy is a collection. Um, we'll see, we'll see what the crop rotation gets around to. Uh, does it get to the gear? It does. Wow, this is amazing. Um, all right, so we'll not rotate, trash a copper. Set aside these two. I guess I'm just going to buy the collection. It would be nice to deliver it, but that's all right. And uh, yeah, I'll order of Masons out like these two. Okay. So gear these, crop rotation, out the estate, A student. Um, this time I guess I'm rotating. Yeah. Cause, cause I can hit eight and grab like port conjurer. Masons out to estates. Let's do that, and then grab like ports, conjurer. This isn't the prettiest, but I think it's okay. I would have liked to have delivered, but yeah, I'll live somehow. Um, I guess I'm just picking up another collection right here, actually. Do I rotate off of Conjurer? Probably. I guess the one thing I don't kind of don't want is to have a uh, lick exposed. Um, which eh. I don't know. You'll deliver. No, you're delivering a collection. Okay. Um. Yeah. So I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna student. Do rotate. Um. Do that. I could also just consider delivering a gear, just given that there's two ports in there. Uh, and I kind of like to get back around to the collection, but. Eh. Let's just take another one. I'll have the opportunity to uh, conjure, I guess, ports into the shuffle before I shuffle or conjure gear into the shuffle or something. Um, I don't feel particularly good about this game right now. Just gonna be totally honest, but whatever. Um, I guess I can actually wait on the mason. That's good. So what am I conjuring? Gear? I guess. Do I even have the terminals for that? No, I guess I'm conjuring, I guess I'm conjuring like cabin boy or ports. One of the two. Um... I guess you have a lot more money because you have like the the gold and the silver. I wonder how that happened. 
Especially the gold. I guess that might have been Forge like three estates when I wasn't really watching. In fact, I can almost guarantee that's what it was, given that there's, you know, nothing else over here that's gone. Um, what is this? Just lots of ports. reasonable-ish. Um, okay, so this is probably wants to be a uh, cabin boy, I guess. Yes, masons. Um, I guess I'm masoning like a state copper out. Uh, not setting aside, um, I could student out a copper, but I don't think I will, because I have a pretty decent shot at drawing, like, collection, something nice, yeah, um, so I can set aside, like, estate, cabin boy, maybe, uh, and then although we're not delivering, um, I think I'll just take ports in another gear. So it's it's not good to not be delivering. It's it's in fact really bad, but that's that's what we're living with. Because I just don't have the money. Um So yeah, I don't feel good, but mm, oh well. Like maybe you delivering four ports again. I guess you can forge port into something better. Um, cabin boy is actually not the worst thing ever for you to be forging into. Um. I don't think you can produce another five, like, for a collection. It would have been really nice to play the cabin boy last turn. Oh well. Or maybe I should have conjured, like, a silver instead. Then I could have delivered some other stuff. This is this is as expected. Oh, is this just really gonna be ports in the gear? Okay. That's fine, I think. Maybe it'll want to undo and deliver all of them. But yeah. Like I don't think you actually need to be delivering right now. Like your your deck is so reasonably whatever. Maybe you take an estate, forge into another collection. Um, let's see, do I want to student out a copper? Probably not yet. Um, I could think about doing it now. I could also, like, conjure up a, uh, cabin boy and try to draw that, which does seem pretty appealing. Um, yeah. So I'm going to set aside the two estates, uh, port, student to copper, play, cabin, boy, and then what do I have? I have eight? It doesn't seem that appealing, does it? I could have nine. Deliver a forge. That seems pretty good, actually. So maybe we take, like, student to state aside instead. And then this time we'll just deliver forge. Okay. Um, well, I'm well behind on points, so that's not good. 
Um, well, I should have the ability to produce an extra collection this turn, which maybe I'll do something. I don't know. Um, and I'll have quite a bit more money because of the cabin boys coming in. So, mm. we'll see, we'll see. I mean, I feel good having the Conjurer. Like, at this point, I feel like rather than, like, produce more collections, you're actually going to be trying to produce more money. Um... Which feels like it's good for me. Uh, maybe. Or maybe you just like go, okay, I'm going to deliver two cabin boys here, deliver cabin boy collection and just try to do things that way. I don't, I don't think that I actually particularly need more ports. Um, plausibly. I mean, the main thing that you don't, or that, that I won't get, uh, doing that is that I won't get wine merchants, or I won't get wine merchant plays, but is that really that big a deal? Yeah. Maybe not. Okay. Yeah, so, so those estates are, um, aiming for, uh, forge. Which is nothing we didn't expect. Um, so don't do that one. Uh, conjure a cabin boy. Do I, do I want to? No, I think I want to forge first. Like forge student. I have another port. Also, okay, so I can just actually play this gear. Oh no, I can't play this gear. God, I'm stupid. No, I can play this gear. Um, so we're setting aside estate something. Then I forge student estate and some coppers into a collection. Maybe I just set aside a single estate. What am I forging? No, I conjure the cabin boy, then play the port. So how many coppers are, are leaving me? So I have four, ten. Currently this looks like thirteen, in which case I would deliver uh, cabin boy hunter or something like that. It seems 13. No, I don't, I don't need 13. 13 would get me deliver. Okay. I mean, I can forge out some extra copper. So let's, let's just do the one estate. Do this, do this, forge student estate. Um, into collection, which then has me at 8, 12, 15. That seems like a good number to have. Uh, so we're going to deliver two cabin boys um, and a hunter, plausibly. Um, I think that's better than another collection. Like, I can conjure an estate if I can produce enough draw. Um, 
or another collection just straight out maybe another another collection is actually my best move uh, yeah it's believable okay let's let's do this I have low confidence in that. I don't think you'll be able to pile these things out. I guess you have one cabin boy, so like you could trash for duration, but yeah. I don't think it'll be there. I think I think the collection actually puts me in position to potentially win the game this turn, uh, and that'll be able to trash for a cabin boy. Although I'll have less money if I do that. Mm. Oh well. Let's find out. It's putting the game pretty on edge. Like, I don't think you can produce 17, but 15 trashing cowboy, maybe. Forge estate gear or estate silver into collection. Seems possible that you can win here. I could have imagined the hunter having been a little bit better also. Or not better, but not something that was going to lose me the game immediately. Um... Would have been the more, I guess, accurate, operative, whatever thing. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll see what you do. Because, like, I have the ability to produce a whole lot of points. Like if you lower collection one, I can't forge into collection, but I can like mill one. Mill one, get the cabin boy. That's like eight points. Eh, I don't think it's really working out here. Yeah, we'll see what you do. That's that's really all I can do. Wait and see what you do. And then we'll calculate it out. I think right now I'm looking at like 13 money. For a collection silver, 3 copper, plus maybe the cabin boy will be 15. Uh, but, but 13, like, naturally, if you want to call it that. And two cabin boys and a collection would give me 8 points. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Um, I guess I have... Five cabin boys. Like my concern is that you can do something that makes it so that I'm I'm just like out un, unable to score enough, and that you'll most likely have an easy win next turn, which seems like the likely course of action here. I mean, I just screwed up the start so badly. It's it's not the most surprising thing ever that this has happened. Um, gear gear student was was not the correct opening. 
uh, I got extremely lucky to get crop rotation out of it anyways. So, I'm not exactly complaining. Um, you have one more port and I guess one more gear. So draw is not really an issue. You're thinking about forging the gear into a collection, but that would be potentially dangerous. I guess that's an option I'll have also is rather than mill the I mean I have to I have to discard the estate, I feel like. Well we'll see if I can get back around to things. I think I can get back around to things, so like I potentially have just a raw collection not having to mill, which would increase my point output considerably. If I don't have to use one of the gears for draw. Okay, there's going to be a state gear to collection. I don't think this is a win. Yeah. Okay, it's just going to be empty gear. Okay, so, I mean, I think I'm just trying to max points and take out the cabin boys, right? So, uh, conjure can go, gear, sure, crop rotation, sure, uh, two coins, definitely, let's just play our ports. Um, so I think this is actually the end of the line on these. Uh, I could conjure, now, well, I'm just going to play the gear. Um, so I can forge silver estate into collection um i can conjure a silver what'll that be that'll be like 15 which can be three cabin boys which is worth how many points that's not enough um I don't think three cabin boys is enough. I can also kind of hope for a dud, I guess. Um, I can also go like collection silver into province. That's another option that I should keep in mind. Or, or conjure silver and then double silver state into province. So three cabin boys right now is like 12 points. That's 30 something. Um, I can also get 15, which is 33, which falls short. Um, let's see. Gear, silver, estate to province would be plus 5, which would get me to 23. Um, I could buy the three cabin boys, which gets me to... 35 and I can get two estates with that. Oh, that's short, isn't it? How much money do I have right now? Looking at 15? Um, let's see. Three cabin boys, two estates, and a province is short. We've established. 
Um, I may be hoping for a dud. Like, how much dud do you, how much dud could it even be? Like, you draw five gears? That seems unlikely. Um, what would this be? 13. So, we're playing, probably playing the Forge. Uh, I mean, we're playing the Forge somehow. Right. What are we forging? Silver Estate into Collection. Conjure Silver, Draw. I don't really want to... I guess I could conjure a state too. I don't really want to give up the crop rotation. Um, and then just take like three hunters, hope that the cabin boys can't disappear. So we're going to do this. Oh, I could also be into a duchy. Or I could be into a province if I want to ditch a collection. What is this? 13, 15? Let's go like this into a province. That is not a province. That is a province. So we're going to go that into province. We're going to conjure silver, gear these two aside. And then I'm going to like deliver two hunters. Or go hunter hunter estate. And hope that somehow you can't get there, which it's sure looking improbable that you can't, especially with that many ports out. Um There would have been a way at you. I mean there was a there was a way for you to dud. Um I was certainly I think short of being able to win. It was close, but oh well. All right, and I guess that was my start. So that's another negative. Um, okay, on to on to game two. Let's try not to do anything too stupid in this one. Uh, what is this bringing us? This is bringing us Chapel Pool Bridge. Ugh. Um, Falconer looks real important. Uh, Mountain Village is really probably pretty essential, although uh, you can kind of maybe get it done with duplicates, but eh. Mountain Village looks really important. Um, I'm going to start Chapel, I think, Bridge. Uh, we're going to really aim for early the falconer because that can both gain the mountain village and it can gain a uh, potion for the pools that you will almost certainly want because you're not going to want to spend village space on draw. Um, so, yeah. It's, it's looking like chapel bridge to me. Brid bridge also, despite opening with chapel, has a Better shot at hitting five because of scribes. Um, yeah. So let's do that bridge. Well, it's going to be a silver, really? Or a potion? No, it's, it's got to be bridge, right? Like you want, you want Falconer. Mountain Village. Huh. All right. Well, I'm I'm gonna do a bridge, and I guess I'm gonna probably plausibly regret it a little bit, but that's okay. I'll live. Two coppers, two estates. Okay, so this isn't this isn't the worst. Um, you got to do stuff, but I'm 
feeling pretty okay about my position right here. Like, like you get to trash out all your states, sure, but is that actually that good compared to getting a falconer? I don't know. Um, do I want to spend my scribes token here? Maybe. I probably do after playing the chapel just because, like, I want to cycle fast and, like, at this point, what are we doing? We're colliding things? Oh boy. Um, I mean, the thing I'd really like to do is for you to buy some multi-type and I'm able to falcon or a mountain village, but that's unlikely. Uh, I don't think there's really much advantage in me um, not using the token right here. Well, that's not true. That's just not true. Falconer's out, so at this point, like, what am I doing here? I guess I'm gaining, like, Mountain Village something? Silver? It seems reasonable. I don't really want to take multi-type things. I guess I could also do potion pool, but that allows you to play your falconer, which is really just no good. Um, yeah, silver. We have the falconer in hand. That's a really nice thing. Um, really, really nice thing. Certainly not all seems lost, like somehow I feel like I have more stuff so far anyways. I guess I'm less trashed, which... Oh well. Um, we're just getting another mountain village, because I have to keep drawing. Uh, yeah, let's use that. Um, I could go down to, I guess I could actually just get two mountain villages here. I'm, I'm debating whether I actually want another falconer or not, and I'm thinking the answer is no. Um, so I'm looking at the possibility of just like trashing out three coppers and taking another mountain village, uh, with the idea that I like get another bridge next turn. I mean, this this seems like it has to happen, right? The other the other option is getting other falconer, which uh, seems risky. Um, and yeah, I think I just take another village here, and really hope to draw my falconer. Okay, I didn't, but that's. Um, so this is going to be another bridge. I'm going to play two bridges. And then I'm just going to take two mountain villages. And like, I'm not the happiest about not having another falconer, but... I think it beats not having whatever thing. Um, here I'm going to gain Potion, I think. I don't know, like you're, 
plausibly a little bit limited by village space. I don't know if you're like that limited by village space. It was definitely worth it for me to get six. At least I'm telling myself that. Um... I guess I also, like, had the what's-its favor last turn that I totally used. No, I didn't. I kind of dudded last turn. Because I guess I... No, I do technically have enough draw to get through the entire deck. It's just a little bit interesting. Um, I mean, at this point, I'm f totally fine with you playing falconers. There's nothing for you to, nothing for you to gain, really. Um, potion. I mean, yeah. I guess you could try to start accumulating duplicates, just like skip the whole um, pool thing. That's actually a possibility. Is that you just start trying to get duplicates down in kind of a lot of them. Um, so that's something I need to be worrying about, certainly. But I think right now I actually just want a potion um, to be able to draw a little bit more. Right. Like I don't I don't think doing the duplicate thing is actually that helpful for me. Um like it's something I want to mess with, but it Sure seems like it'll take you a while to get, you know, enough down. Although maybe not. Like, you have three down, you just need two bridges. Ah. Yeah. We'll see. You can go pool, duplicate, duplicate. Oh, you had both? Holy cow. That's obnoxious. <laughs> Maybe I take another falconer here instead. Like, if we're gonna try to do this duplicate thing, it could potentially be productive. Damn. I make both. Ouch. Okay, I drew, managed to draw the pool. You're actually just gonna get a critical mass of duplicates down like right away. With this. Having seen both falconers in hand at the start of your turn, or during my turn, in five out of fourteen cards. <sighs> I don't like Falconer very much. I'm just gonna point it out. Um, so, so let's go ahead and grab a duplicate. Uh, what do I do? I guess I play the pool first. That was not the most useful scrying pool ever. Um, well, you certainly don't have falconers this time. So, what am I gonna do? Maybe I grab like two duplicates in a pool? I wonder about playing that last mountain village. That was actually probably a really bad move. I guess I could also take another bridge. Uh, 
um, go like bridge, pool, double dupe. I go triple dupe. I feel like I'm still asking for quite a lot. Let's just go double dupe. I really hope to find one of those pools. Playing the last mountain village is actually just awful. Like super, super awful. You should top deck that. I wonder if I just lose this turn. Seems possible. That was so bad, playing the last mountain village. I don't know what I was even looking for with it. Uh, I guess I wouldn't have actually guaranteed that this turn went off because you had the pool, so never mind about that. That was actually totally fine. Um, I guess part of the other thing is that I plausibly have more comeback mechanism. Um, I'm pretty sure I actually don't want to play this falconer off of whatever you gain, even if you gain a dual type, which you totally will. Um, because I want to be able to, um, hopefully, hopefully be able to draw. Um, So actually it was a good thing that I played the Mountain Village last turn because I really felt like a total idiot. I'd have had to have not played the second to last Mountain Village, which drew me a Mountain Village. Well, dang it. <sighs> Too complicated for this late at night. Did I mention that it's like late? Probably not. I usually like to mention that when it's the case, but oh, maybe you just have a win. That would sure take me out of my misery. I doubt it. So you have four dupes down. I definitely don't want to play this falconer during this turn because I want to maximize chances of drawing. There's a possibility that if I draw, I win. Haven't really figured that one out all the way yet, but seems like it could be the case. Um. Maybe you just take like five provinces, that seems pretty bad. Six, or however many. I don't know if you'd be able to. No, I mean, you can need like two silvers. Got yeah, two silvers, two bridges. You could take a bunch of provinces. 
and a scrying pool even. I have at least a moderate chance of getting through it. Probably not that likely. Wait, why did you top deck the bridge? You should totally discard that. Because if it's Mountain Village, like, I'm going to draw it anyways. And if it's Scrying Pool in my hand, then it's better to not have the action there, potentially. Oh well, we'll remember that for my own turn. Falconering a duplicate and gaining a bridge. Okay. We can only play two bridges. No, I don't want to react with that. I have to draw. Okay, so we are going to go provinces. I guess. Are we going to duplicate them? Or are we just going to leave it? I don't know if I have enough for a win here. Probably do. Well, maybe not. And now I should be able to take out duplicates and bridges if I fully draw. And it'll be depending on you not fully drawing and whatever, but that's okay. Um, so let's just play these. We found a pool. That's a pretty big deal. Let's see. We decided that we actually wanted to discard all actions. Uh, this was certainly not enough. So what am I going to do? Do I just, like, play four bridges by a province? I mean, I have pool in there. Um, I don't think I have enough to win right here. What would it have to be? It'd have to be like... Gain bridge... Let's see, if I gain bridge, I have... Uh, seven gains. Otherwise, wait, no, do I, do, no, I mean, I have a tie. Do I take a tie? If I gain bridge, then I can play four bridges and the duplicate. Uh, you might have a falconer in hand. That would not be good. Alright, so what am I going to do? I'm going to gain bridge, play four bridges by province, maybe. I mean, that seems more likely to lose than alternatives, because, like, I don't, I don't have to, uh, I don't have to whatever. Okay, I don't think I can gain a multi-type thing either way. Maybe I gain a chapel and trash the potion. Like, if I'm not going to be buying any more pools, it sort of makes sense, right? Yeah. And I'm not really going to be doing effectively anything this turn. Because that'll make it so that the pool that's in there draws through. Uh, and I could gain like a count or something. I don't think that's really worth it. Um, I could just take a duchy. Nah. Yeah, I just stop here. 
don't know if I'm playing for a dud or not. I know like if you dud and then I draw, I can probably win. So... Maybe I do take a count. I don't really want to lower bridge any. I should have the actions to play everything. I think the count's better than nothing. I'll just buy it. Oh god, my pool is freaking the top card. Or the last card. That's annoying. <sighs> That's so bad. Well, you only- no, you do have two pools, so if you draw here, you can, like, totally screw me over. <laughs> ah. Which, maybe you won't, but... Ugh, oh, God. It certainly ratchets up the tension. A lot. Okay, well, okay. Uh, thank goodness I didn't die. Okay, so now I just have to figure out how to win this. Um, I think it looks something like this. Um, I'm just going to play enough mountain villages. I'm going to get two duplicates. Um... And that should be enough to take out the bridges, and then I'll have enough to take however many provinces. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe I want to go, like, duplicate bridge? Okay, so if I take two duplicates, I'll have how many? I have enough money because of the count, right? The count is worth... If I take two duplicates, I'll have... Five duplicates. I have seven actions. So this is one, two, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I would not have enough to play the count. Which is actually a fairly significant problem. Um, hmm. I did I did I. Well, I can at least just play these two. Um, I guess I can gain copper from the count and draw it also. So the count can actually produce up to like four money. So I have to play all three bridges. Can I deal with only having four duplicates down? Plausibly. Maybe I call duplicate on the one duplicate and gain a bridge? Okay, we'll play four bridges. Okay, I, I just have this, right? We can just go like one two, three, four, province. Okay. We, we managed. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't exactly know. I think, I think the second falconer for you was pretty ungood. Um, and then me getting more mountain villages sure was useful. 
All right, what have we here? Ugh, this looks... Ugh. I mean, just go like full gardens. No, you can't. You can't go full gardens because the the engine that like doesn't have to deal with frigate just murders everything. Um, so this looks this looks ugly. Um, I mean, we're gonna open silver, silver. We're gonna try to get witch. We're gonna try to play witch. Uh, and what happens after that is anybody's guess. And like, if if your opponent does the same, cool. And if they don't, oh well. And if your opponent has a two five, you cry a lot. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now I think I'm gonna actually yes take the devil's workshop. Uh, have a pretty good chance of reading which here, and then like gaining villages is totally fine. And then eventually probably gardens, to be quite honest. We're not actually going to really build because we're in the matched thing. But like, if you try to just play Devil's Workshop Gardens, you're going to have so many issues and because this this engine, despite everything, is actually like pretty good if you don't get attacked, particularly by witch, but also by frigate. Um, so although our deck is going to be, and both of our decks really are going to be completely non-functional, you can't just do the thing where you pretend like stuff is okay. So this will be a devil's workshop for me. Um, and I really sure hope that I hit witch, because this, seeing this four like this is a bad sign. Um, it's a bad sign. This, this is like one of the two hands you have to see in order for you to not hit five, and so it totally stresses me out to see it. There's still lots of ways it could be okay, but, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> The only thing, the, like, like the thing that would be worse to see here is uh, Silver Two Coppers Estate. That one's pretty... Or Silver Two Coppers Two Estate sounds also pretty sketchy. Okay. Yeah, what, what did I tell you about five and how I was about to miss it because I saw four coppers? Meanwhile, you open Silver Devil's Workshop and, man, things, things are amazing. Um, so this sucks, like, a lot. I think I'm actually going to grab another Devil's Workshop. Uh, I don't know. And we're going to go like just Witch and go s maybe straight after Gardens or straight after Village or whatever. Let's take Villages for now. Um, gold? You should just take another Witch. Like that's that's what this game's about. I guess a war chest makes some amount of sense, but I'm I'm just actually gonna grab another witch. Um, this game is just going catastrophically bad already. Like, <laughs> it's it's really really bad to have gotten the the four four. Especially when the other person, I don't know, it just irritates me. <laughs> um, could conquest here. Actually, already, if we're going to be doing the gardens thing, which I guess we are. Um, you want a gardens. Okay, maybe we should just rush those. I kind of don't have a choice, do I? Is my witch seriously going to miss the freaking shuffle? You have got to be kidding me. My witch has missed the freaking shuffle. This is just... 
<laughs> oh my god. So bad. I give up. This is so ridiculously bad. Um, which misses the shuffle? Devil's Workshop misses the shuffle. Everything misses the shuffle. Witches collide. <laughs> oh, God. I don't even know what to do. This is just so bad. <sighs> so absurd. It wasn't really a good game. There was just nothing I could do about it. It was so bad. Like, like, even if you had, like, you know, seen that you were trying to do this gardens thing, I couldn't do anything about it. Things were so bad. Um. <laughs> Anyways, on to the next game. Uh, where we have Magpie as draw. I mean, we're going to open Magpie Scrap. That seems really clear, I think. I mean, I think what we really want to do kind of longer term is like Magpie Fool's Gold stuff, but... Um, I think you got to start out with Magpie and like, you got to start out with Scrap, so... Mm. It's hard to say how much good like anything other than Magpie and... Fool's Gold actually do you. Maybe a Mining Road could be useful. Uh, you're sure happy with Border Guards, but once the Fool's Golds are gone... Um, you might take a Hideout, trash out some Coppers. Priest, trash out some Coppers. Um, but... Sigh. You didn't even take a buy out of it. Oh my god. Air scrap doesn't trash estates. That's pretty normal. I mean, I, I shouldn't even be complaining about that. That's just like so utterly normal that it doesn't really affect anything. Um... Do I take another scrap? Do I take a border guard? Do I take a fool's gold? I think I'm going to take a border guard. Oh god, I sure hope this magpie... Okay. That's good. Maybe I keep taking border guards, just try to get all the magpies done and be able to skip over all this apparently excessive amount of junk that I'm going to have. Sure would be nice. Falconer is like fine. Um, I could go card coin here. I mean, I have two border guards in there, but even so, like grabbing a falconer looks pretty fine. Um, and I mean, this way I get to shuffle too, which isn't the worst thing. Mining road looks pretty good. I would take a mining road. I'm actually not that big a fan of the second falconer. Um, do I just take... I mean, I can take, like, magpie border guard, which is totally cool. Um, you might think about taking Fool's Gold at this point. Like, you have two Falconers. Do you really have both? I'm sure you have both. Uh, Walker's Village. Um, 
nochmal da. Um, well, I guess I'm taking the magpie because I sure would like to scrap something productive. Uh, maybe? I guess I could also take the falconer, buy fool's gold, gain, whatever. Yeah. And on top of deck. Okay. Um, so I could just go like coin horse here. Uh, grab a worker's village. Be pretty happy about things. Yeah. And, like, at this point, we're going to go after Fool's Gold. You have three Falconers. Jeez. Three. I mean, it's, it's Fool's Gold gaining time. Really? Uh, sure. That seems like a thing I like. Um, horse, Falconer, Magpie. Falconer? What am I gaining with Falconer? Investment, probably. Um, can trash copper buy, or trash estate, or trash copper? I mean, at some point I do want the fool's golds. Maybe I just take one. You probably have two falconers in hand. I guess I could do it this way instead. Like that, and grab a mining road. And I guess you only had one falconer in hand. Oh well, whatever. I'll live. I kind of don't understand why you're not just going after the fool's golds like hard. But whatever. Maybe now you do. Um well Shoot. I feel like I gotta take the falconer. And I gotta take the magpie. And now we'll take the mining road. Scrap that. Um, falconer. Oh, it's gotta be time. It has got to be time. Um, do I want a something that isn't just fool's gold? Probably not. I'll say no, I don't. It's like now I think we just want virtually all the fool's golds we can get. Um, Okay. Um, magpie? I think so. Horse. Okay. Scrap copper.
copper, invest copper, trash, coin, I guess coin, fool's gold, oh, I could take the last one, I don't think that's good, I think I should take a province, yeah, I think I should take a province. It would have been nice to get a second buy there, but not to be. Now what? I don't know. I just don't feel like the Falconers for you do much other than potentially make magpies not hit. That's probably being not the most generous to them. Probably better than that. Um... Man, what a disaster last game was. <laughs> I mean, it basically happened exactly as promised, right? Like I, I said, this is this is gonna this is gonna miss. You do not want to play a silver, you want to play a fool's gold? No, you want to gain a horse and you're going to buy a fool's gold and play it. Now you want to... Oh, you got a coin instead of a horse. No, a coin instead of something. Anyways, this is going to be province fool's gold for sure. Um... Um, do I just take the fool's gold? Like, I can get a province. And I think it's asking a lot of my deck to do more than that. Oh, next turn's looking pretty okay. I can scrap the investment. That's kind of cool. It's not as good as getting two points out of it, but it is something sort of productive. Card action, coin, horse. Lots of things to scrap. I'd also like Scrap the Falconer, probably. I think that's probably a better life for it than... Whatever else. Um, there's still, like, at least two Fool's Golds in there, so I guess I'd play Magpie first. That sounds right. Oh, I'm tired. I feel like in the ugly games, like sometimes I'll get way ahead like that in the pretty games, but in the ugly games, like the last one, I feel like it never actually works out. It's always like, I'm, I'm the one that misses double, I'm the one that misses five, I'm the one that has, has their witches miss. <laughs> a lot of what it is. Um, I don't know. Gain silver instead. And workers village. Okay. I don't really know where we're going from here. I mean it, it looks like we're just buying provinces but the, the decks neither of them is particularly good enough to like 
Um, okay, we're going to scrap the investment for card action coin horse before the shuffle. Um, Magpie's better. Okay. Province duchy? Sure. What else is there to do? <laughs> I mean... No, I'm, I'm good. Uh, I have like a non-zero chance here of... Okay, I have a completely zero chance here of doubling. Um, I'm just debating whether I want to trigger the shuffle, I guess so. Um, I'd really like to hit 10. I think I'm doing that here. This is like... Six, two, seven, eight, ten. Yeah, look at me. Double dodgy. I guess I could have province estate, but I think this turn's actually not that likely to reach province anyways. Um, now my border guards suck, or rather they don't suck, they just don't go on top, so I'm not seeing them every single turn. Maybe you'll double, that would suck. <laughs> no, you don't have plus buy. Okay. I think I... Province rather than say you're gonna hit 15 and 3 buys. It sure seems unlikely that you hit 15 and 3 buys. Um. Yeah, it was just gonna be a gonna be a 2 VP blip. Well, 13 and 2 buys seems likely enough. Uh, plus I'd have to like scrap a duchy or something, which seems like a bad plan. Um, ooh, do I play magpies first or border guard first? What a decision. It like totally doesn't matter and it's completely random which works better, but it still feels bad if it goes wrong. I guess I'm going to play the border guard first. What am I going to flip? Two fool's golds and a magpie. Yeah. Something like that. Crash is fool's gold. It's bold. State. Lots of states. Oh, amazing. Um, okay, so there's a falconer on top. Let's figure out if scrapping a province wins me the game. I'm pretty sure the answer is a resounding no, but we should do our due diligence just to make sure. I guess I can also take two duchies. That's pretty, um... Oh, can I take four estates? So I play mining road, that's five, I scrap. Okay, so I have I can I can scrap fool's gold for like card coin. Yeah, this wins because I have the falconer on top. So I can scrap fool's gold for card coin. Card 
card coin gain estate completely freaking randomly get three estates to win the game look at me I think that was a less dumb ending than the previous one. Like, like I, I was, I was doing things that could have actually been like, like it was competitive. It, it was a bizarre ass ending, but it, but it was competitive. Um, okay, we have Taskmaster Torture. Um, we also have Urchins, which is annoying, but like I don't have a freaking uh, three four, so that doesn't really not relevant to me. Um, I'm just gonna open raise Torture. I think. Yeah, seems seems good enough to me. <laughs> like, what else are we gonna do, right? We can open raise bridge troll. That seems not without appealing. Oh, there's taskmaster bridge troll. That's that's painful. <laughs> um, you could potentially think about like sauna silver, I guess. Eh, no, not really. I mean, I think the threes is so clear. It's a double urchin. It's it's mostly just like how much do I want to do Taskmaster and how much do I want to do Bridge Troll? I kind of want to do both. I guess that makes it more. The question is, how long do I wait on Bridge Troll? How willing am I to buy golds for Bridge Troll? Whatever. Um. I mean, what else is going on here? Like, you have Torture for Draw, other than that, you only have Vanto, which... <laughs> maybe. Um, like, if you get a bunch of bridge trolls down, maybe just convert your uh, da, 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 village to Sauna Vanto. But... <sighs> um, I know, on, on two, you can top deck Copper with Traveling Fair. Um, I mean, there's also, like, just normal squire torture for draw. There's so much trashing, it's like, you probably actually do play with sauna just because it's a more, like, I don't know, normal way of doing the... Well, maybe not. I mean, we have, we have the torture uh, discard attack thing going on. Um, but... <laughs> You open raise, and you possibly don't have a two five. Like, like the fact that this isn't just being like by torture immediately is confusing me a lot. I guess it could be that you want to do like raise squire or something. I don't know. Um, do I want to pick up an urchin here, or would I rather have a taskmaster? I mean, I think I want to pick up the urchin. Yeah, let's do it. If I hit five again, I might top deck urchin. Just like, get the merc. At some point, I kind of have to imagine that, like, I don't know. Remodeling things to squires may be okay. Like, I don't, I don't think that you see the two, five, and you go, well, now I have to open whatever thing, but maybe. Okay, I'm, I'm top decking urchin here for sure. That is the thing to do. And I will get mercenary. And I mean, it won't be the prettiest, but I'm, I'm happy to get mercenary. I gotta get the coppers trashed. Oh, look at me. Um, do I trash a copper? Yeah, I trash a copper. No, I don't really need a second one. Um, do I want squire? Well, I can enhance copper to squire, potentially, like this. Enhance copper to squire. Okay. 
There we go. Um, raise a state. Uh, Merc is actually better than torture. Do I pick up a taskmaster here? Maybe. Or do I keep getting squires? I think I'm going to keep getting squires. Like, I don't think... I, I don't actually want to sustain the Taskmaster. I do want to go to Bridge Troll eventually, so... Let's do it this way. That would be good. Then we get to go like Squire, continue, trash those two, make you discard, traveling fair bait, gain two squires. I mean, seems reasonable. I guess I could also just take the bridge troll right now to get a bunch of squires next turn. Yeah, I think so. Okay, well, the Ray Squire thing's gonna start happening. Um, do I torture here? I have like two squires sitting there. I think I bridge troll and take two squires. It's a lot of squires, but it seems all right. And this turn I'm gonna squire torture. Is this like actually all my squires? I think so. That's actually pretty brutally bad. Okay, I managed to draw one anyways. I am gaining curses. Because you don't actually have a discard attack, so I don't care. Um... I'll certainly trash these two out. Bridge troll. Uh, gain a silver? Is that what I really want? I think so. I think I want, like, gain silver by torture of bridge troll. I don't think this game is long for the world, but we'll see. Taskmaster doesn't really work with bridge trolls around. Or at least it's not going to work for me. Um, I think we do torture first. Then this. Um, gain a silver is better. I think so. Um, okay. I probably want, like, Bridge Troll Urchin. don't really want another Torture, but I probably should take it. Uh, I guess I can enhance the Merc to uh, Sauna. That seems worth doing. Just to, you know, make sure there aren't any fun ideas about giving me lots of curses. Uh, all right, that wasn't the most productive, but you discarded, so I'm fine with it. Um, Urchin Triple Sauna? Yeah, okay. 
animals. That's what I figured was going to happen pretty soon. I I just didn't get the opening. I think it was it was a clear double urchin. Um, well, I won three games somehow. <sighs> That's a absolute like you. I I cannot express how much of a miracle that is that that I was able to do that. <laughs> oh, we're going to get to open outpost. That's fun, always. Um, this is going to be outpost page. Uh, big deal here is just going to be get the terminal draw cards. Nobles, Magnate, Sheepdog. Um, there's Peril. I don't actually think it matters much. Like, you'll just have Market. Um... Yeah, not a whole lot here. Uh, on the three, four, I'd probably open page fool trying not to take a silver. Something trying not to take a silver. I don't have the option of not taking a silver. Not, not that I wouldn't anyway. I'm just buying outposts no matter what. Uh, for basically essentially for cycling. Um, and maybe I'll get some sheepdogs along the way. That would be pretty cool. Uh, I don't think there's anything better to do on the five. Like, like I'm not wouldn't be certain what to do on the three, four, and I think the five is just so. Uh, I'm not gonna say clearly outpost, but outpost makes a whole lot of sense, especially. Um, well, no, it doesn't make any sense with page. It doesn't like do a perfect shuffle. I was, I was thinking it was gonna do a perfect shuffle with the silver, but it, it doesn't. Um. Glad I was able to get my head enough together. Well, last game, it wasn't really about getting my head together. It was more about just having way, way better stuff. Man, I don't like that. But it's okay. I guess what we do is along the way is we actually get guides, not um, sheepdogs. What am I buying here? Oh, man, you got to map guide turn three? That stinks. <sighs> See what this page draws. I mean, I'm gonna get a whole bunch of guides now. That's that's like the only thing I'm buying for the next however many turns. It's just gonna be guide, 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 guide. Oh, shoot, I missed everything. I'm gonna take a sheepdog here instead of the guide. I don't know. This actually really stinks. I would have really liked to have not had everything miss the shuffle. That would have been cool. Like, like not everything missing the shuffle is is make would would make me real real happy. <sighs> Gotta say, all right, guide. Um, am I gonna want these silvers? How many silvers is it? It's none. That's an easy number. So, oh, it's one. Okay. Well, oh well. Um, maybe I take sheepdog now. Or do I just keep taking guides? I think one more guide's probably in order, really. Um, man, you're already up to hero? That stinks. That's what happens when not everything misses the shuffle. I, th I think I'm like not in the worst position even with that. It's just <laughs> something to complain about, really.
I'm gonna start taking sheep dogs now. Like you should take a sheep dog here. There, there's not really reason to take another guy. I don't think. Um. Swap. Huh. Let's just start taking sheep dog. Buy this. Oh, that's. Fine. Um, do I take a sheepdog here or a guide? I think I take a sheepdog. This can go to hero. We don't have any guides down. That's good. Oh man, you'll be able to swap things. You'll be able to swap guides. Well, that's no good. Why would you want to swap a guide? I guess you can swap a guide into a sheepdog. That's kind of productive. Yeah. Hmm. Fun. Uh, yeah, that has to get called. Um, ugh. Gross. Well. I mean, it's, it's obvious, right? I still take the, I still take the, the hero. Um, and then, yeah, I think, I think now that I've seen the white swap. I'll call that. Oh, awesome. Um, okay. Do I want to play this guide? I don't think so. Well, now I kind of do. Outpost, sheepdog. I think these are like non-optional calls. Oh, I shouldn't have triggered, probably. Well, I'll grab a nobles. I think nobles over magnate. Eh, maybe not. I think magnate. Yeah, oh, well, we'll both start kind of working things out here. Um, the one thing that's a little bit, uh, maybe, out of the line is, um, um, it's, it's this nobles versus magnate thing, and then it's also getting plus buy-in. So actually there's two things to kind of do that are left. Um, and I mean, we'll see. I'm, I'm pretty unhappy that I triggered the shuffle last turn. Uh, I was really hoping to find the swap. Um, probably just another sheepdog then. And I mean, I think we stop here. I think, like, clearly I want to swap guide into swap. Hard to say. I don't know whether it should actually be swap or magnate. That's kind of the big, big decision. Um, well, we, we can play the sheepdog first. I'm, I'm like trying to think that I have to do that first, but I really don't. Oh, that was the outpost turn. Okay. I was just confused because it didn't start with five cards. Having a hero would be kind of nice. Um... Okay, this needs to turn into draw, which should be magnate, because the biggest priority is find the outpost. Okay, like that. Um, now what should this be? Plausibly a nobles. 
Um, I could also really think about adding payload. Um, I kind of want another swap also, but yeah. So I think I'll do the nobles without the thing. Okay, this looks like a fine starting hand. Magnate. Sheepdog magnate. Uh, swap out guide for market. Market nobles. All right, what do we want? Province nobles. Kind of want another swap, but I don't think there's really time. Yeah, Magnate's a good card. And then this looks pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. I guess we can probably swap out the guide that uh, I used on the outpost turn. I don't know if the second nobles was actually that necessary over like another market, but I don't think I'm really trying to produce more than two provinces a turn, so mm. eh. You just straight up have to swap a warrior for a market. Two provinces. I mean, what else? Really? Like, I'm capable of taking, what, four? If I take four, am I even safe? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out. Or we won't find out. I haven't really decided whether we'll find out or not yet. So we'll do the things we obviously aren't swapping first, which is market nobles. Um, Sheepdog, we will possibly swap into either a Market or a Magnate, depending on what I need for draw. So we're going to keep that around, at least for the first little bit. I know I also have a Guide outstanding, though I don't particularly want to go down to two of them, because I know, like, this, this hand is, this is not a necessary hand. Um... <laughs> Put one way. Uh, like, I think I'm more comfortable losing a sheepdog than losing a guide at this point. Just because I, I have to kick off. I have to kick off. Um, is four provinces good enough? It's something I really should be considering. Actually, I shouldn't be considering is four provinces good enough. I should be considering can I take three nobles and three sheepdogs on two turns. That's what I should actually be considering right now. Um, which means that is what I should be considering. Um, the answer is probably I can. 
Um, I'm going to swap the guide into a market. Yeah, continue. Um, outpost worm. So, I mean, I just take three nobles here, right? Like, even a top deck, like two of them, is that really better than being able to guide twice? Probably. Okay. Oh. Oh, crap. Okay, we, we win because I managed to see the magnate. That's that's a really nice thing to have hap happened. Magnate, magnate, market, market, stop, just buy the three sheep dogs. Okay. Awesome. Whew. Gosh, I'm tired. Anyways, that was a good set, um, I think. Um, and yeah, um, I'll uh, I'll see you all sometime.